Superman. Uh, just sitting in my new van seat in the back. You know, that's all, hanging out. Check it out. Don't even have my seatbelt on. Girl. I go, you go, we all go, and the crew go. All right. All right, welcome back party people. This week we're gonna continue the project from last week which was installing this seat in our cargo van thereby kind of transforming it into a semi crew van. And we had gotten as far as putting our seat in, measuring up, marking some of the holes out. We built some brackets and uh, got those painted up. We're to the point where we're almost through with all the paint work. It's been horrible weather to actually do paint work. So today at 60 degrees, it's overcast, but you know, it is 60 degrees, so I'll take it. All right, so this is our class 10 M12 by 1.75 thread pitch bolt. So we're just a little bit small. All right, I'm just gonna mark these other holes here. So I am missing one bolt, but I'm waiting for it to come in. But uh, that's pretty much how both of the brackets will be installed using these M12 bolts. We've got all the holes drilled and uh, sanded that surface off and kind of touched up the areas that needed to be touched up with some primer. So I think I've got all the mounting hardware in. I've got all the back brackets built painted i've done a bake and cold cycle on the uh the brackets with the paint on them so i feel pretty confident we've got everything ready to go to get this seat in the other thing i had to do was cut a new section of floor so i've got our new floor here and uh, i've got some poly poly iso cut over there as well so that'll be uh, what we glue back down to the floor and uh, that has to fit over the brackets that we have here for the seats so the way i'm going to do that is i've cut out this template here and this template let's see if i can put this up here where we can get a better view so this template fits right over the brackets like this let's get this thing installed So we've got a little test fit going on here and uh, I'll show you the hardware. We've got our M12 bolts, class 10 bolts, washers, lock nuts. I got extra bolts on the other side over there. I just need to trim the, the bolts up so I run them through the other way so the nuts are on top over there. And the bolts are a little bit too long so I'm going to trim those off. Alright, that's what we look like with the brackets in. I've test fitted the seat. I've tightened down the far side, but this side I've not tight. This side I've not tightened down yet. I've got to go up under the van. All right, so I made a couple of different brackets for this uh, particular seat bracket here. So this is going to go underneath the van. So those are the brackets, and you can see that they actually cover ridges on both sides. So I've got one extended further on one side, and the other extends further on the other side to take some of the stress off of that. Those are the two on the back bracket closest to the sliding door and then the other one is further up it's kind of hard to slide on this uh, it is up under the heat shield here up in there so it is much harder to get to um, with your hand so you kind of either you have to remove the heat shield or kind of bend this one down a little bit to get to it now the other side is even worse because it, what we did for that side is, um, I want to be careful around this exhaust, but uh, there is a frame rail drive, or right above the drive shaft there, that gray piece that you see, and it has a few holes in it already. You can see one there, uh, there's another one, and then at the very end down there, there's a section of that tunnel where they bent and overlapped it and you could actually fit a bolt through there so i fished that through there with a magnet and line 
from underneath here. You can slip it up through those holes. And if you've got your holes drilled already in the top, you can fish it along with a metal bracket, a small metal bracket, right up through that so that it will uh, fasten up through the holes in the top. And that was a pain in the butt. You've probably seen those types of fasteners before. They're blind type fasteners. Uh, you see them a lot of times on the rear frame rails of cars where you want to install a a hitch like a, a two inch hitch or something they give you a kit that has these uh, metal wires that are kind of wound into a little spring so you screw the bolt into the end of it and then you fish it all through uh, including like a little bracket and fish it all through and pull it up and then put a nut on the other side and that's what I used on uh, here now depending on where you install your brackets you may not have to deal with that but i installed my seat in a very unlikely place and you can see right here we've got gas tank so you can lower the gas tank down if you've got brackets on the other side i just didn't have room to install the seat over there then you've got the drive shaft and a frame rail right above it and then you've got exhaust right here so there is literally hardly any room down here the easiest ones to get to is actually anything close to the sliding door here so these are way easier but uh, I'm gonna try to reach up in there and uh, clean it off a little bit and then spray a little bit of that uh, coating around everything so now we've got some rubberized coating on the bolts and the bracket there so hopefully that'll keep any uh, rust and corrosion away and we did the same and then you can see in there it's all black so all right so right now we're just taking some measurements about where these brackets sit because i got to put this plywood floor back in Go. This it turned out better than I thought it did. <laughs> Couldn't get any better than that. I cut some strips to kind of reinforce the front here, which is something I didn't do when I initially built the van. So we're gonna just glue these down in between, in the valleys using the standard 3M90 high strength contact cement. Works good for this. Now we're going to glue our uh, plywood floor in. This is half inch birch. It's the next day here and I've got my vinyl tape to put down. I picked up some of this uh, foam insulation. I'm going to spray it in the cracks between the uh, brackets and the underlying poly iso and plywood in hopes that will uh, seal that up a little bit look a little bit nicer once i trim it down with a razor blade i may even choose to dye it or paint it black so it kind of blends in we'll see All right, party people, we're back. So uh, today I want to get the, the vinyl finally taped down. And uh, what we did yesterday was we sprayed in some foam insulation and then put a coat of black paint on it to help it kind of blend in with the background. And so today I just need to tape this vinyl down.
we have the sink installed we have the step installed we have all the bracketry installed i put all of the systems back into the van the drain the water tested out the water pump everything's working well so now it's time to test fit the seat and see if we can get it in All right, and this is what it looks like when it's complete. There's the floor brackets. All right, that'll be a wrap for this project. Hope you enjoyed the content. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Until next time, skill up and ride, van up and go, in a crew go. I go, you go, we all go in a crew go. All right.